Okay, okay, so part two. Let's get started. Okay, so in part one, you guys smashed the like goal by 200 more. Let's see if we can hit 650 likes. If we do hit 650 likes, I'll be giving away a $10 Roblox gift card. You must be subscribed to this channel as well and comment down your username. So without further ado, let's dive right into today's video. So firstly, we got Shinobu, we got Inset Breathing. Now, Inset Breathing is one of those breathings that can be good or bad for you. Um, I mean, it's either a C tier or a D tier, but I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt and give it to C tier because of the poison damage. If it did not have the poison damage, I would give it a D. It's also really, really fast to use is what I mean. Look at that. But it's kind of eh, it's kind of easy to perfect block at two moves of Inset Breathing, and that's probably the downside. But the poison does last quite long, and uh, each time you hit it with the 100 leg like, zigzag and stuff like that, you know, Frolic, Frolic can be easily perfect blocked as well, if you know what I mean. And then Mere Fluttering, that move is just like really, 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 really easy to perfect block. And uh, Inset Breathing is just mainly counting on M1s, but the poison does make up for it, so yes, that's why it's going to be in C tier for me. Okay, next up we have Shinobu's boyfriend, Giyu Tomioka. He has Water Breathing. Water breathing is gonna go to an S tier for me. I don't care what you say, bro. I don't care what you say. The water pillar right here, bro. He, he he knows how to use it. S, S tier and above, bro. Literally, he had to get nerfed so much because of the combo. Literally, infinite combo, bro. Flowing dance, bro. Oh my Jesus Christ, bro. This breathing is so dirty. It's so dirty, bro. It, it's like the best breathing for me. Well, beast is for me, but you know, water is really really good. Water wheel, water surface slash. Only one perfect blockable move, bro. What, what more could you ask for? Literally OP bro, but honestly, if I had to pick between water breathing, beast breathing and flame breathing, I'd probably choose water breathing for me because of the combos. The cooldown of water breathing is quite normal to be fair, but the damage, it got nerfed a bit, but it's still insane to use because of the combos. Literally, you can combo it with anything, literally. You can make up your own combos, it's so easy to use for me. Okay, next up we have serpent breathing. It is called serpent breathing, not snake breathing, okay? It's called serpent breathing. Now this thing is gonna go to a C tier for me, dude. It's gonna go to a C tier. It's like insect breathing, but a bit more easier to use. It does have two perfect blockable moves like insect. It does have poisons, but I don't think it's as, as much as insect, I'm not sure. It might be better or it might be worse than insect's poison, but either so, it does do poison damage. It's more of a short range they're breathing. You rely on M1s. It's really easy to perfect block for me, but if you land M1s and you're really, really good with Serpent, like um, Real Luck and the former Serpent Pillar, MSK Shrek. Um, yes, uh, MSK Shrek is better than Real Luck with Serpent, but Real is probably better with the uh, other breathings. Serpent breathing is a fast pace, but it's just really, really easy to perfect block. It does have a lot of counters as well. It's um, not a breath of beginners. I don't recommend you use Serpent breathing if you don't know how to use it, because it is a good breathing if you know how to use properly every breathing is a good breathing if you don't even have to use it properly these are just my opinions you're free to disagree with me i'm not bothered okay moving on we got coco shiba yeah shut up bro don't 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 judge how i pronounce it okay i'm british okay shut up okay so moon breathing is pretty overrated to be fair it's got no counter attacks like it's just got no counter the cooldown is just trash bro it's, it's trash and but the combos you can't really eh, it depends you can use Luna Shine and Mobu half moon but really but if you can't get your opponents to the ground with a heavy attack like M1 and you can't really use the combos to be fair like Heaven Crescent Moon takes around three seconds to load up two three seconds actually and then Luna Shine is probably um, Luna Shine and Mobu half moon is probably the only decent moves in moon breathing if you want a fast pace but the cooldown just instantly breaks moon breathing and it's probably one of the hardest breathing to find in the game but if you want to get moon breathing i don't want to um, stop you but if you don't know how to use moon breathing i don't recommend you use it you can look at the tutorials on how to use moon breathing but it's definitely not a breath for beginners because it has no counter moves low cooldown the damage is insane though if you hit it though so i'm going to give this breath a b tier so moon breathing goes to b tier for many reasons okay next up we have milf okay so um love breathing is an s tier easily just just <laughs> straight up the bat, it's an S tier. Nothing, nothing can stop love breathing from being the best breathing in the game. Literally, literally, love breathing is the best breathing in the game for me. It's so good. Literally, if you hit one combo with this thing, one combo with this deadly thing, bro, you're dead. You're dead. You're, you're basically dead, all right? It's better than water, yeah? If I said water was good two minutes ago, forget what I said. Love beats water, bro. Love beats any other breath in the game. It needs a nerf. I'm not taking a mic, bro. Love breathing is the best breathing. One combo and you're done. It doesn't matter if you're hybrid, you're dead. It doesn't matter if you're a demon, you're dead. 
all right if you if you it has low cooldowns as well bro but and it only has one perfect blockable move so if you use love breathing and you know how to use it just best believe bro watch out for these love users i'm telling you they have counter attacks as well but on the downside it, it does take uh, a lot of skill to land a hit but if you land like a combo it can infinite combo <laughs> literally you can kill them but it, it, as, as a downside it does require a bit of skill and aiming to do because it does pull you back with one move and then love pang is really like a strike so you have to aim it properly as well and it is very very good for farming as well if you want to farm as a slayer love is probably the breath for you to go okay next up we have mist breathing now mist breathing is a very good breathing it would go to an st if it didn't get nerfed but you know it got nerfed like any other breathing like any other breathing it's gonna go to an at for many reasons for me i mean mist is really really good i mean i've lost to quite a lot of mist users i mean eight layered mist and haze is just such a deadly combo the damage is kind of low for mist for me and haze only does around like 15 percent of your hp it does have a lot of combos, does have a lot of counters. The cooldown is also low. The DPI is insane, to be fair. I, 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 if, I, if you see a missed user, then you just know you're gonna probably lose. You just know if you're probably gonna lose if they're skilled. If someone's combing you, just use 8 layered miss and then it just literally counters the combo. I don't get how they use 8 layered miss so fast. I don't get it, dude. I mean, it is a brain dead breath, so if you're a beginner, you can use mist. I'm not stopping you. But you know, mist goes to an A tier, it will go to an S tier but it's going to an A tier because I've got nerfed, but it's still good, it's still good. It can go to an S tier, but I'm giving you an, I'm giving a miss an A tier because I hate missed users bro, especially TC bro, when he, when he rocked me. Oh yeah, TC, if you're watching this, guess what? 4-2, I beat you with beast bro, finally. Okay, so second to last breath, we have stone breathing, not rock breathing, Stone breathing, please get it right. Stone breathing is uh, used by the strongest Ashura, so I'm gonna give this a B tier. Now, Stone Breathing does have a lot of combos, it also has a lot of counters as well. The cooldown is normal, the DPI is meh. Damage is low though, but um, it makes up for it because it has infinite combos. It does require a bit of skill, but it only has one perfect blockable move, I think, or two, I'm not sure. I think it's one though. There is one move in the stone that's called Upper Smash, you can use it to escape, but it does charge up a bit, um, hence why it's going to a B tier because of the damage. If the damage was a very, if the damage was higher, I'd probably give it an A or an S tier, a lower S tier for me, obviously. Okay, next up on the list, we have Nugs Breathing. You know, you know this thing, bro, this, this thing's OP, like, it's, it's gonna get its own tier, bro. I mean, Nugs Breathing, bro. First form, Scattering Peasants, Jesus Christ, that thing is insane. Insane, bro. Insane damage. One shot. So literally one move. First form, one shot, bro. It, 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 it's just unbeatable. We're like, Nugs Breathing unbeatable, bro. Okay, anyways, uh, thank you for watching the video. Yeah, Nugs Breathing is a joker. It, it, it isn't even a real breathing. I just thought I added it in because, fuck, why not? But other than that, leave a like and subscribe and comment down your Roblox username so you can have a chance to win that $10 Roblox gift card if we hit the like goal, of course. But other than that, suck your mom. So yeah, I'm up for any debates if you want to debate, I, I don't care bro, like I don't care, I'll kill you bro, I'll kill you in the debate, I'll, I'll probably just say okay to be honest, but if you want to debate, add Fernie, hashtag 001, 0001, yeah, 00, I'll put it here, dude. I can't be bothered saying it, yeah, goodbye.